I think it might be an understatement to say that they are right up for this tonight here in the new Corinthian Stadium in Sao Paulo. Job this man has done, Goreca, but this would crown everything, I think, if he could win here. Tirch, the former Corinthians manager. There have been some very high-profile VAR calls already in this tournament, as I'm sure you're aware. Fernando Rapayani from Argentina, just back from Poland actually, where he was one of the officials at the, the latter, may belong to Manchester City, but his heart has always been here in Sao Paulo, his hometown. He needed to be on friendly ground, the Corinthians Stadium could not be better. He makes no change. Sum up the spirit of Peru. Jefferson Farfan, now 34, who got the second goal against Bolivia. And they believe they can go a long, long way in this tournament, as they have done. One important member of this Peru outfit is Norberto Sol And it's had to wait and watch and hope, and he just about judged it right. Been emphatic or dominant from Brazil. In this Peru team, but they don't lack for anything in terms of hard work or determination either. Peru wanted an offside, or it may be a handball. It might be worth another look later if something develops here. And he got turned on it. Peru attacking in numbers. Brazil have their hands full. Casimiro's not got started yet. And neither have Brazil. That's a good win by Advincula. And on the front foot here early on, Peru, of assurance about Brazil. That's a nice little idea by Dani Alves. Near post, and it's headed wide, first time. Well, Thiago Silva and Casemiro were in there, and it may be Casemiro who got the final touch, and Brazil do lead. And a set piece opens the way. They found it so hard in open play, but from a corner, they get in front. Goalkeeper kept the first one out, and it probably did need that final little touch here. Look again. Back off the post the first time, I think. Dani Alves. Goalkeeper was coming, never getting there, Galese. Quite a spiteful one. Arthur definitely felt it. In use in the tournament here in San Paolo, the Estadio Morumbi, as I'm sure you're aware, the home of Cross. Continue over it. Dani Alves swings it in there. And again, Peru looked less than a she ain't going anywhere, is he? Another of the battle hardened warriors in this Peru team. Amazing career. 34 now, Farfan, still scoring goals for Lokomotiv Moscow. Look at a clear, it's by Thiago Silva, the quarter-finals. Oh, Galeza has made a horrible mess, he's got away with it first time, but he may yet be punished, he's going to be punished. It's the easiest goal Roberto Firmino will ever score. And Brazil have it where they want it now. Peru have imploded here. They cannot believe their luck. Galeza is out of sorts tonight on this huge occasion and Brazil have punished Peru a horrible moment for any goalkeeper Firmino doing what Jurgen Klopp loves him to do press hard press with belief and he's got a reward for his country tonight he thought the first one was going in he's quite cool after that though isn't he have that Tich, captain, leader, senior goal scorer, the record man for Peru, but he has to lead by example here, Guerrero. A bit of room now, 
and he releases Everton and Brazil are beginning to flow Everton shrugged off it Galezi gets down and maybe gets a bit of good fortune for a change tight one for offside or not maybe the left back had played him on as Everton drove into the box again with Felipe Luis it's a great little reverse to Everton showing for it again kept alive by Firmino a torrid evening and he's got to defend this so strong, he did well. Cuevas taken out. Over the wall and over the side. Feeding Everton again. Nicola backed up again. And he hits it. And he screams into the corner. What a moment for Everton. Brazil lead 3-0. And the young popular hero strikes. The clamour has been for Everton, and he repays Brazil. <laughs> Magnificent strike from such a tight angle, but again, the big question over the goalkeeper. He's having a game to forget here. Look at the shaking heads among the Peru fans. They'd love to see him get on the scoreboard. Down the outside he goes. They actually carved out an opening for... Five or six years. On by Cueva. Firmino makes the move. Coutinho from the other side. Clever little piece of work by Felipe Luis. Cutting in from that flank where he's been stationed. Straight to that right-hand touch line for most of this. Space opened up and Gabriel Jesus had a more than presentable... Seen to safety this time by Edwin Kula. Here he goes again. Finding space. Advincula has left behind again. Maybe he overdid it then, Everton. Peru trails 3 0. Nicely worked by Peru. Marquinhos with the block. He kept his arms behind his back. Everton has been asked to mark Farfan. That's it. Cueva, again there were four in the box, Alisson not beaten on his near post. Testing him again and he was found wanting again. Everton, first through again, goalkeeper slow off his line, Galezi, he got to it first time but he wants more. Story of the game right there, that cameo and Avicula in all kinds of panic, the referee says nothing. Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus, and again he looked to give it back to Firmino. Well struck, but straight at Alisson to Peru. Casemiro got the block on, doing excellently. Firmino running wide, waiting for Gabriel Jesus to show. And he had to go on his own. perspective just nice and tidy Danny Alves to put a flourish oh what a flourish that was Brazil it's four and the captain produces a classic Brazilian right back goal in all honesty think Carlos Alberto think Carpu it's all over now Wearing the captain's armband for Brazil with pride in the shadow of the greats and producing a really wonderful goal. Casemiro's in there yet again. It's fired over the top from the edge of the box. It's Everton now. Does he drop the shoulder and hit one? He does. 
Jesus of São Paulo. And still he waits, and still everybody waits to salute a goal for the inquest after the Venezuela game. No disputing that the VAR 